Welcome back to Fantasy Football Today. We got a fun game tonight between the Raiders and the Chargers. It's going to be an interesting AFC West showdown. Two quarterbacks playing really, really well. Two teams playing really well. Two defenses actually playing, I think, a little bit above their heads based on the expectations. But hopefully we're going to see a lot of points. And to break down this game for us, it's our buddy Larry Hartstein of Sportsline. Gave you a lot of great picks and props on the Sunday Fantasy Football Today, bringing that magic back on the Monday show as well. So Larry's joining us from the Caesar Sportsbook in Prairie Meadows. So Larry, give me your pick on the game here. You got a, a three-point favorite for the Chargers at home, but the Raiders are the undefeated team. So how's this game going to play out? Well, first I'm going to give you a tip I heard from a guy here at the sportsbook named Luan who said Sunday night is for dogs, Monday night is for favorites. And if you're blindly betting it that way, you're 5-2 and two against the spread, and we both cashed on the Patriots last night. So I'm going to roll with Luan and take the Chargers, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper. We saw what the Cowboys did and what the Chiefs did yesterday, and I'm going to tie this together. And th those are offensive juggernauts, what they did to the Panthers yesterday and the Chiefs scoring basically every time they had the ball. Well, look what the Chargers did to those two offenses. They frustrated the Chiefs, forced a lot of turnovers, held the Cowboys to 20 points. Neither Dak Prescott nor Patrick Mahomes was able to get over 250 passing yards. So I'm just super impressed with Brandon Staley basically daring teams to run the ball in 2021 where nobody wants to run the ball. And I just think the Raiders, they have feasted on Jacoby Brissett and Big Ben, and they're, they're a good team. They're improved under Gus Bradley. But I just think what the Chargers, Chargers have done the first three weeks gives them the edge tonight laying only a field goal. So I'm going to roll with the favorites, and let's get that trend to 6-2. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Lawan is your alter ego, and you're just making it up. That, that's actually a, a, a <laughs> phrase that you came up with yourself. You just don't want to take full credit for it. But you know what, Larry? Take credit for it. It sounds really good. But if Lawan is actually uh, there, give him credit for it as well. All right, you gave us some great player props on Sunday. Let's do the same thing with this game tonight. So we're looking at Mike Williams and his receiving numbers, and he's been awesome so far through the first three weeks of this season. You're praising the Chargers offense. I'm going to guess you like Mike Williams as well. But his receiving prop for tonight is 74.5 receiving yards. Are you going over or under that number? Yeah, Mike Williams has gone over all three times. He's had 31 targets in three games. Joe Lombardi came over from the Saints and said, I'm going to use this guy like Michael Thomas. He's a lot like Michael Thomas. He's even a little bit bigger. And you see, he's not just going downfield. He's not just a red zone guy. He's in the slot. He's going across the middle. I love Mike Williams to go over 74 and a half. And then you got Jared Cook with his reception total. He's been a little unlucky from a fantasy production standpoint, but he's doing a nice job as a key weapon for Justin Herbert. The prop here is three and a half receptions over or under tonight against the Raiders. You know, I love Jared Cook. I covered him when he was a high school basketball star back in Atlanta. But uh, the first game, he had eight targets. That was an anomaly. Since then, he's gone down five targets, three targets, only three catches, and two catches the last two weeks. Austin Eckler had zero targets in the first week. All of that has changed. It's Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler. Those are the target hogs. I'll back Jared Cook to finish with three or two catches. All right, so Jared Cook going under the number there. And then what about Austin Eckler? The receiving yards prop for him is 38 and a half. Is he going to go over or under that number? Yeah, this one is coming up. It was at 34 and a half. I still like it at 38 and a half to go over. He's gone over this in 10 of his last 13 regular season games. And we saw that week one was just an anomaly where he didn't get any targets. The last two weeks, 15 targets, 61 yards, 52 yards. The Raiders struggle in the middle of the field. That's where Eckler thrives. I love this guy to get at least 40 yards. I like his uh, over prop as well. Five and a half receptions at plus 120. He's been at six catches or more each of the last two weeks. So big game coming for Austin Eckler. Big game coming for Luan there in the Caesar Sportsbook at Prairie Meadows. Larry, you're the best. Luan, you're the best. Uh, I love both you guys. So enjoy the game tonight. And you'll see Larry all throughout the day here on CBS Sports HQ helping you win some cash. So enjoy yourself there, Larry and Luan. All right, Keith, let's get to our, our, uh, our DFS lineups for tonight. So get, take me through your lineup on FanDuel, the one player you're the most excited about. Oh, the one player I'm most excited about has got to be Justin Herbert. That's why I've got him in the MVP spot. I do not really believe in this Raiders secondary, and I think that Herbert will have connections with both Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, but I'm hoping for a sneaky touchdown from Donald Parham. All right, should be a fun, uh, fun game there. Justin Herbert should come through with a big performance for me, the captain. On DraftKings is going to be Darren Waller just because I want to be a little different, but you see a car Waller stack here and then a lot of chargers, Herbert to Eckler and Cook, and we'll see if Justin Jackson punches one in maybe with a short goal line opportunity, but he's cheap at $200, so we'll see if he delivers.